I have no idea how long it's been since Larry Nichols was on this program. Uh, thanks to Pete Santilli for reminding me. I didn't know Larry was still active. He is, uh, he's an amazing American and has been involved with the Clintons and the Clinton legend, as it were, for a long, long time. Larry was involved with the uh, ADFA story. He was involved with the Clintons. He was involved with all kinds of things in Arkansas and in the White House as well. And he's still at it, and I'm really glad to welcome him back to the program. I bet it's been 10 or 12 years, or maybe even longer. Larry, are you there? Can yes, you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I do. Welcome back, Thank Larry. You for, thank you. Welcome for having me. It's been, Jeff, it's been probably close to 20 years. When oh you and I talked, I was a young, middle-aged guy, just fresh out of Nicaragua and other places like that. Now I'm a 63-year-old old man. Well, I don't think you're old at all, and you have uh, in you, in your mind and in your memory, some uh, extraordinary data. And I am, I'm really glad you're back. We, what we're looking at here is, uh, is the Clintons. They just won't go away. And what I nope. wanted to talk to you about tonight is, uh, is Hillary, obviously, and her uh, in, intent, it would seem, to finally ascend to the throne that she felt was rightfully hers in the past and probably still does. What's, what's your view of Hillary Clinton today, Larry? Where is she? Hillary is... Nine million times smarter. She is uh, well traveled, well versed. She's more qualified to be president than Bill was, but she is still Hillary. Now, here's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. If you want me to tell you, oh, I do. <laughs> remember, remember, I wrote the book, The Genie Out of the Bottle. That's right. Dick Morris, Paul Begala, me, later, uh, James Carville. We were the team that put together the system that kept Bill Clinton elected governor five times. Mm -hmm. And then it's the one he used to win the presidency and to hold it. Yes. When Hillary ran against Obama, she broke the rules. She was so arrogant, she broke the rules. Number one rule was kill him early. Now, what that means is when you're fixing to get an opponent, go out there and get rid of him. Get rid of him. Now, I don't mean literally. We didn't mean literally kill him. But if you had a young guy like Obama, you would go to him and say, now, listen, son, you've got a big career ahead of you, but not now. And if you have to, pay him money, do whatever you got to do, but you make him get out of the race. She didn't do it. When she didn't, when he got in, she lost the race because he had 98% of the black which is part of the broken coalition that we always use to keep Clinton elected. Oh, yeah. The broken co broken coalition, folks, was blacks, queers, hippies, yippies, and Democrats who didn't know any better. None of them had by themselves enough power to win. But you put them together, and you could win, always. All right. She made that mistake. She lost. Now, she's doing it right. I hear everybody saying she's coming out. Jeff, she's coming out so early. How stupid. Let me tell you what she's doing. She's sucking all the money up. She is oh, sucking yeah. every bit of the money right now. Very interesting. You might Larry. notice. Yeah. You might notice she's quiet right now. She's got a problem. Benghazi. Jeff, you remember this rule? Remember the old rope and dope we had? Oh, sure. <laughs> We'd tell Bill, you know, he'd get out there and mess up and get caught. We'd say, go to rope dope get in your corner, let them beat on you, but just shut up. And you know what? In time, there'll be a tornado, a hurricane, an earthquake. Six, eight weeks later, come back out and everybody will have forgotten. She's using all of this junk going on now, which is totally an act. She's using all of this to keep quiet. And by the time we get through the Obamacare, the budget, battle and all this other stuff. The American people have forgotten about Benghazi. And then she will be the power. And as you and I saw before, remember yeah. with Bill Clinton, we oh, yeah. saw it with we saw it with Obama. The Republicans will elect the only person that cannot beat her. There Bill Jeff, when you and I were fighting Bill Clinton his first term, 
Uh huh. The whole Senate and the House changed from Democrat control to Republican, and all these newcomers did was just morph the head of the old standing Democrat congressman, morphed their head into Bill Clinton, and they won. How could Bill Clinton possibly win re-election? Mm-hmm. Because they elected Bob Dole to be the candidate. And who was Bob Dole's finance chairman? Jack Stevens. The same Stevens that paid for the Clintons. <laughs> Hard to believe. Look at Obama. Yeah. It's, Look it's, at Obama. It's... Who did they run against him? Who did yeah. they run yeah. The, the Mormon, what's his name? I don't even... Uh, Romney. Romney. Yeah. Romney couldn't have beat a dead nut. It's, they should have uh, beat Obama. Yeah, okay. So let's... All right. Hillary is is being advised by whom? Who's, who's strategizing for her? If she's doing that well now. Probably Begala. Probably Carville. Now, Clinton and Carville came out of me, I guess it's three years ago now, passing through town. Mm-hmm. And Bill said, Nichols, is the war over between us? I said, Bill, I said, I'd get you. I got you. We're done. And I said to Bill, I said, believe it or not, Bill, and I never thought I'd ever live to see today. I'd say it. But I long for you to be president compared to what we got today. And Carville said, can we can we get an ad saying that? And that's then he a, that's, started. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I'm amazed at what you're telling me. That's good. That would I, mean, I would have been. I would have given anything to be in that room listening to that conversation. Oh yeah. Well, then Carvel started going crazy. Well, you know, and Nichols, Nichols, get in here with us. We got to beat that nigga. We're gonna get Hillary in. We're gonna get Hillary in. I said, hey, I ain't in. I'm out. Well, wow. but. Jeff, I'm not going to get to be out. You see, I don't want to be in it again. I fought one president. You know how bad that was. That took a, that took so much out of you, Larry. I, I I don't know how many programs we did. We did a lot of programs, and and I you bet. I beatings, knew. Yeah. Oh yeah. The killings. Too too many. I I don't know what the ultimate death list turned out to be, but probably close Around to a hundred. Well, around me, that I, and I'm not saying the Clintons killed them, folks. No, we never did. We never did. But they died about to testify or to come forward with me, and it was 52. So most of them, yeah, just for our listeners, most of them were tied with you uh, in some way, shape, or form. All of them. All of them. Oh, my. And they all died. All of them died mysterious deaths, like shooting themselves in the back of the head twice with a shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Cutting their member, cutting their hands and their feet off, setting their yes, on fire and throwing I themselves remember. in the dump. Yeah. So yeah. Now, for those of you that say, "Well, gosh, you say you didn't say the Clintons did that," you got to remember the Clintons. Here we go, Jeff. We'll take you back in history. Hillary Clinton's daddy was Hugh Rodham. Who was Hugh Rodham? Hugh Rodham, and the former House Ways Speaker, uh, Ways and Means Speaker, Dan Roskinkowski, a guy that I testified and got put in prison. Dan Roskinkowski and Hugh Rodham took over the Chicago mob from the Capone organization. Oh, really? That's why Bill wanted Hillary because he had the mob money. That's why whenever you mentioned Bill Clinton during those days, what did you talk about? Dan Laster, cocaine. Mina, cocaine. Tyson, cocaine. Yeah. The boys on the track, cocaine. Well, those people made a lot of money for the Clinton being president. And you can bet they'd like to have their turn again in that power. How does the uh, Hillary camp feel about Obama? And what was, now you say she lost to Obama. Was a deal cut back then, Larry? I, 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 I trust you more than anybody on this. Was a deal cut with her? So, okay, yeah. Hillary, you sit out for eight yeah. years, you can get it? Yeah. I mean, they had to have Bill in the general election. Yeah. And that was the deal. 
They cut Hillary in. It was a deal. Made her Secretary of State, gave her independence. She went out, built her track record, and that's what it was all about. Kath, let me say to your audience, let me just get one thing clear. I'm the meanest son of a bitch you've ever known. I've done everything you can imagine, broke every commandment. A lot. So don't think I'm a good guy. Mm-hmm. I, Never I, have know, been. I, I know who you are. But, and I did the stuff for the Clintons. That's how I know them. That's how I'm, <laughs> by the way, for those that think I might not be the real deal, I don't know if I am or not. Oh, Larry's the real I, deal, folks. <laughs> caused 30, I caused 35 congressional Senate and Senate and congressional hearings. Got the Speaker of the House, Jim Wright, to resign. I got Tom Foley defeated. I called him Lips Foley. Remember, to tell you were a part of that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. And uh, was in on the impeachment of the president. And I'm the only one in my family that's ever made it in a presidential memoir. So, folks, all I can tell you is the truth. And it ain't pretty. It's not what pretty. Gonna do? Yeah. No, and it's not going to be pretty when she gets there. And when she walks in with the legacy left by Obama, remember, she tried to get Obamacare, and we fought her, you and I. I remember. When Bill, when Bill was president, people didn't know this, but let's give him a little history again. Mm-hmm. Bill Clinton was running against George Bush, George H. Bush. Right. There was a third person. Ross Perot, and everybody thought Ross Perot was trying to win. As a matter of fact, he got close to, to win it. Then all of a sudden, he went crazy and kind of backed out and then got back in. But what people didn't know, he was put in as a ringer. And Hillary was leading the charge for the health care program. Yeah. And Ross Perot had the computer contract with his company for the health care program. Fortunately, mm-hmm. it didn't get passed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do uh, how do the Clintons feel about the Oreo cookie in the White House right now? They hate him. Chicago, they hate him. Chicago money, Chicago, Chicago mob. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he just he dropped the excuse the term. He dropped the turd in the buttermilk of their whole world. Mm-hmm. Come up from Chicago, took over support of Chicago. Put his guy back in Chicago. I mean, yeah, they hate him. But he will be history. He will be history. But the stuff he's leaving, mm-hmm. he's going to leave Hillary king or queen. And she will she will take the power. And folks, Bill Clinton will tell you. I mean, look, Bill Clinton was an inch deep in a mile wide. But if Bill Clinton <laughs> came on the phone now... <laughs> you and I, and he, we'd have good old talk. He's mm-hmm. just a good old boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All he cared about was sex and fun yeah, and yeah. drugs. That's right. But he'll tell you, Hillary's the meanest woman you'll ever meet in your life, the meanest yeah. person. Just ask Vince and Foster, to, right? If he, if he ask to. Me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that, look, go to Benghazi. Those four guys died. What did you see her say? Hey, come on, they're dead. That's right. what she thinks of life. Well, look at how she reacted to the uh, the brutal butchery of Muammar Gaddafi. I mean, come on. She was yeah. damn near laughing out loud. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. People have no idea what you're fixing to get. And you have no idea how the system's rigged. And it's rigged for her. Jeb and Bush, is- no chance. No chance. She's in. 